Oh crap, we have a lot of stuff to cover. Maybe I should start recording videos more often, and then I won't have so much to cover. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Bob here, and before we start the video, I just want to say this weird thing that I've been doing for a while, yeah, I'm naming it WTF. There's a website that's called WTF News, but from here, the last time they put anything on there was in August of 2017. It's May of 2019. I am the new WTF. We're not WTF News, we're just WTF. Now that we have that covered, on to the second thing. At the time of recording this video, Minecraft is not yet 10 years old. But right now, as it's going up, Minecraft will be over 10 years old. Even though the first version of the game, um, which is like Cave Game, that came out beforehand. So let's go through the history. Minecraft is born in 2009. Probably a fad, but it doesn't have a battle royale. I don't know how Minecraft got popular. Every game that gets popular needs a battle royale. I don't know how Minecraft did it. Minecraft introduces a crafting system in 2010. Yep. It was the game just called Mine? Nope. It was called Cave Game. It was called Minecraft Classic, I believe, after it changed from Cave Game. Minecarts roll into the game, and Minecraft Icon. First ever to, wait, Minecraft Icon in Bellevue, Washington was the first ever to Minecon. Snap your title for event comes next year. In 2011, the first iOS release. And second Minecon happens in Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas! Final design for the first LEGO set comes out in 2012. Minecraft on Xbox 360 also comes out in 2012. And the pretty scary update, which adds wishes bats, zombie villagers with their skeletons. And. And wither skeletons. We did add the wither, cause I play Minecraft. I've played Minecraft on my phone since like 2000. I've played Minecraft PE since 2013, and wither still feel kind of new. In 2013, horses gallop into Minecraft. Minecraft comes to PlayStation 3 because PlayStation is apparently always late when it comes to Minecraft. And it gets the update that changed the world. In 2014, Microsoft acquires Mojang. Minecraft launches on PlayStation Vita. And the Bountiful update brings survival features, blocks, including coarse dirt. Which is, of course, the best block that exists. In 2015, Minecraft launches on Wii U. And Mojang made the greatest mistake they could ever did. They released Minecraft Story Mode. And Reuben died. You're sorry, but we don't forgive you. Though, it feels like Minecraft Story Mode didn't come out that long ago. In 2016, the Education Edition comes out, and Polar Bears come to Minecraft. In 2017, Minecraft launches on Nintendo Switch, Minecraft Island, the f their first novel, and Better Together Update brings to Xbox One, uh, PC, iOS, and Android, and Nintendo Switch, I believe. Yep, Better Together comes to Nintendo Switch in 2018. Dual Screen Delight. Okay. Update Aquatic, also. In 2019, Village and Pillage Update brings a lot of new stuff and turns 10. Okay. And 2029, Minecraft releases on Mars. Okay, only 10 more years. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get to Mars and create a new Mars version of Minecraft by 2029. Yep, here's the Minecraft Classic. You could play it online, I believe, or download it. I haven't tried it out. If you want me to try it out, type in the comments section and I'll do it. Okay, so two out of the four things done. Now, onto this stuff. My friends have made two very stupid petitions, which I have decided to put in this video, because why not? One of them is make Nebraska not a state. I don't know what Nebraska did to anyone, but it has five signatures. It's by Jimmy Wang, and the link will be in the description if you want to sign it. The other one 
is remove Canada from Earth because, yeah, it's by Dr. Guinness. Remove Canada from every organization and from the planet entirely. Why? Okay, um, remove Canada from Earth. I, they're really polite people, so I don't know why we would get rid of them, but sure. Does Canada even exist, though? I don't know if it exists or not. I'm just moving on to the next thing. These two petitions have made me question everything. On to the final thing in the game, Iraq. Yes, that country with a bunch of terrorists has decided violent video games are their biggest problem. Because obviously. So, this is by Esports Observer, which means they're credible, I think. Iraq will block violent video games such as, um... Fortnite's not that violent. After Parliament voted for a resolution on Wednesday of April 19th. That was almost a month ago. I think it'll be a month ago on Sunday. The resolution pointed to societal and moral threats to children and youth by violent video games. I don't know much about other countries or anything that happens around the world. But I'm pretty sure you have a bunch of terrorists and stuff, and that might pose a larger threat to children and youth, but whatever. It will bar online access to games, and also block financial transactions for the games. If you go to Iraq, you can't play Fortnite or PUBG. Iraq's parliament has voted to ban violent video games with popular online royal royale shooters, Fortnite, and PUBG cited as prominent titles that will be barred in the country. The resolution claimed that the ban was necessary due to infect, due to negative effects caused by some electronic games on health, cultural, and security of Iraqi security, including societal and moral threats to children and youth. Iraq's government will block online access to violent games along with financial transactions related to the banned games. It's not yet known which other games will be banned or how the government will decide which games must get banned. Before the vote, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Cleric and... Maybe I shouldn't read articles about people from the Middle East pushed for a ban and urged young Iraqis to stop playing PUBG, which she described as addictive. What will you gain if you kill one or two people in PUBG? It's not a game for intelligence or a military game that provides you with the correct way to fight. Because it's fake? What? What will you gain if you kill one or two people in PUBG? It's fun? <laughs> Are you supposed to ban anything that doesn't give you physical rewards? It's not a game for intelligence. Why does this quote not surprise me? The country has been plagued by violent factors between violent factions over the years with Iraqi civil war lasting between 2014 and 2017. Iraq held its first elections in 2018, although the only legislation that parliament passed before this resolution was its federal budget. <gasps> okay, is that it? So I like how at the bottom they admit they've been plagued by violent factions. But one thing that confuses me is, of all those violent factions, the worst of all is PUBG, right? That this right here is obviously the thing that's plaguing a society with violence and stuff. Now, as you all know here, this is WTF, so I am obviously the most qualified person to give you any any form of news on anything. And yeah, you should take everything I say with 100% truth and definitely not fact check anything at all. But either way, that has been WTF. I'll see you all next week for something else that I might do. And I won't visit Iraq because I won't be able to play Fortnite. Bye for now.